staunchest rock and roll supporter, Jim Clevo, has single-handedly focused the nation's music business attention on our city. And Jim recently has joined hands with the Cleveland Music Group. He's here to tell us all about that and his own projects. Thanks for being with us, Jim. Thanks for having me back again, Tracy. It's great to be back on Cleveland Rocks, Cleveland's original local rock video program. You heard it here. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about your, as I understand it, your fourth CD. That's it's correct. a compilation. Yes, of 19 local bands. It's called The Killer Blow. It will be available at all your local record stores, and we have four CD release parties scheduled throughout the month of April that you can come out and see some of these bands. and. Uh, maybe pick up a copy of the CD there. Do you want me to list the bands real quick? Sure. Okay, we have some of the old, some of the new, all great, and uh, names like Home and Garden, uh, Modzilla, which is really champion in an uh, original release, uh, Sosumi, Araberos, The 14th Floor, Hot Tin Roof featuring Tom Lash and Trent Reznor, The Walk-Ins, Gypsy Moths, Max Crucial and the Crushers, Terrible Parade, In Fear of Roses, Gun Blue, Lonesome Bones, Ballyhoo, The Uninspired Five, Indian Rope Burn, Bluto's Revenge, and from Columbus, Ohio, The Bounty. Jim, this is your fourth such project, and I'm sure a lot of people wonder how in the world you fund these things time after time. The bands will each contribute a small amount based on a per minute rate of the amount of time they're using on the CD. It's a lot cheaper and more effective promotion-wise in a lot of ways for them uh, to do something on a low-cost basis such as this rather than to attempt to release a single cassette or, uh, you know, on their own, much less an album or a CD, which costs would be on thousands of dollars. Sure. Now, shifting gears a little bit, you recently made a trip to Austin, Texas, where you attended the South by Southwest Music Conference. Correct. Now, you've previously done this on your own, but as I understand it, this year you joined up with the Cleveland Music Group for an exhibit. Why don't you tell us how that came together? Sure, because I've also done these uh, for the CMJ Marathon in October, of course. This was my third year in Austin. The music group now has named me an executive board director, so I'm in helping them with a lot of their policies and uh, directing plans for taking Cleveland music into the 90s. So we, you know, in addition to doing this project in Austin, we hope to be able to do more exhibits and theme parties and such with the other music groups at the conventions year-round now. Now, there are a number of Cleveland Music Group activities coming up, which you can tell us a little bit about. Sure, and we have a new membership category, too, and that's for bands. A whole entire band can sign up for one $40 annual fee. Uh, just like a $30 general member or a $20 associate member, you receive the Cleveland Music Group newsletter and voting privileges in our annual board election and, of course, discount entrances into all music group events. We're going to have a lot of great programs. Uh, coming up in the next year, we have our award show on May 17th and always our educational forum series in April. It will be April 4th at Splash in the Flats. Um, yes, the music group is going to be a tremendously strong force for the advocacy of Cleveland music nationwide in the 1990s. You can tell that it already is. <laughs> um, I'll tell you, before we wrap up real quickly, Jim, I've uh -huh. known you for years and I've talked okay. to you a number, on a number of occasions, and you are a booster of Cleveland music like few others in town. I wonder what personally motivates you to do all of the things, invest all of the time and energy that you have in, into Cleveland's talent. I think at this point now, it's because I'm already doing it. I'm started. When I started, I think it was a case of seeing things that I felt needed to be done. The bands needed more attention. Um, now with commercial radio playing their music and shows like this and so forth, I think they're getting more attention. That's great. Well, you're certainly appreciated, that's for sure. And thanks for stopping in, Jim. Thanks for having me back, Tracy, and everybody here I sure had a blast. Loved being on Cleveland Rocks. Stick around, there's lots more coming right up.